The earliest evidence of fencing as a sport comes from a carving in Egypt dating back to about 1200 BC. The carving shows a sport fencing bout with masks, protective weapon tips, and judges. Fencing certainly has come a long way, and the Chinese American Community Center Fencing Club is where youth ages 12 and up can learn the art of fencing. You have to earn the right to use a weapon, so they start off learning footwork, and they use the ring and the balls to try to teach discipline. You can't toss them around, you can't uh, throw the ball around if the coach doesn't allow you to, because you can't actually do that with your weapon. Eventually, he will bring in plastic weapons, which they start using to learn blade work, and then if they pass the uh, exams, they can move on to using steel. Fencing embodies physical as well as mental discipline. William is a first year student in the program and he's already learned a few neat things. Footwork. Lots of footwork. I'm a beginner and I just think um, it's fun. He also has a special request for his fencing gear. I'm hoping she's going to buy me the dual sword. It's my favorite sword out of all of them. The sport is much more than two opponents in a fencing match. It also builds life skills. I've heard stories about fencers who've eventually become lawyers and the mental training they've gotten from fencing helps them think in difficult situations. Fencing for me, it's a sport that I've come to love. It's direct combat against an opponent. However, the result isn't determined just by brute force or speed. Um, the weapon serves as an equalizer and tactics and strategy play a huge role in it. I hope once they start actually fencing and competing, they get the competitive spirit. For more information on the CACC Fencing Club, contact Wen Shi at 302-634-5304 or Joyce Xiao at 302-239-0432. Hi, I'm Dr. Nicastro. Sudden infant death syndrome is the major leading cause of death at ages one month through 12 months of age. Sudden infant death syndrome can be caused by many different things. Prevent a lot of clutter in the, in the crib. Mothers like to dress their cribs up. No toys, no stuffed animals, no pillows, no loose articles, uh, for instance, heavy blankets. It's been shown that uh, bumpers can be very hazardous. They can cause choking hazard. Child can be trapped underneath the bumper. Uh, the bumper can fold in over the child and can suffocate the child. So it is a hazard. Toys inside the crib are not recommended. Again, for the same reasons, especially soft toys, toys that could potentially be um, suffocating to the, to the child. There's raising pillows or raising mattresses that go underneath the mattress and that helps sometimes elevate one portion, especially when a child is suffering from reflux or, or reflux problems. It's recommended that your child always rest up, so back to sleep. When your child is uh, laying down or tummy down, um, they run a potential risk of, of uh, suffocating. So it's re always recommended that you lay your child back to sleep. Screw the bat, 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 bat.